so we are back, and I'm thinking, you know what, I haven't done the, um, let's go, L uh, I feel like I'm going to lose, let's, let's go black-white tokens, and this one is running Soren. I have another version that runs Elspeth, but um, I don't think it does all that great. More or less the same deck with some minor tweaks in it. Um, and now we got some some homies in the chat. I'll try to keep this up as best I can. Is this a keeper? Oh, this is running Elspeth too. Okay. Uh, Tangible Virtue, Lingering Souls. That looks good. So we'll probably go uh, Marsh Flats, Godless Shrine Tapped. And we'll wait, not that there's much of a reason to, but just to get in the habit of it. Um, you know, there could be an argument for uh, turn two. Okay. So, opponent is playing some green whiteness, as far as we can tell. I think we might want to go... To preserve the life total, go Fetid Heath and Intangible Virtue. Just to see. Oh, does this ramp? Could I have done. No, I couldn't have done uh, Spirits. So we're going Lingering Souls next turn. Cool, so it looks like uh, opponent is a little slow down at the moment. So we're going to take full advantage of that. So I got another Marsh Flats here. Um, yeah, let's just go Godless Shrine untapped. Lingering Souls. So far, we are looking quite good, I, I, I think. And we can drop... We can either flash back... I, I think I want to wait a little bit before flashing back. Maybe drop another... What is this? Create a token. Target creature gets... Da, da, da. So we could probably plus one the Elspeth with the Vigilance there. Ah, okay. So off a life gain deck here, um, Zealous Persecution, so we got Enchantment life gain deck, Sword of War and Peace, that could help, and like I like to do though, I like to drop the sword and attach it on the exact same turn so the opponent doesn't see it coming. So I think we go Elspeth here. And I'm just going to grab, like, a regular Plains, I think. Or Swamp. Let's go... Swamp. Um, well... I want to add two. No, oh, no, that still costs two. That's just fixing. Okay. And with the Vigilance, we're able to protect it. And I think we're not even... Or do we make the tokens? Do you get the damage in? Five, six, seven damage. With our Lingering Souls flashback, I think we want to... We're not in need of tokens right now. I think we just need to get some damage through. And what is the ultimate? I got I think the ultimate is like indestructible. Pretty good turn for us there. Able to protect Elspeth. Uh, everything is indestructible. Yeah. Once we get to eight, make the tokens. Oh, okay. Um, I I, I will. I'll go ahead and do that. Let's, what is this? As Frontier Siege enters the battlefield, choose cons or dragons. This is weird. Forgetting your main phase. Flying under your. 
You may have it fight target creature you don't control. Is this like a global enchantment? And which one did he choose? Do we know which one he chose? Cons. Okay. So he's going to ramp. Uh, I want to end this game. Each of your main... Oh, jeez. Each of your main phases. That's crazy. Ghostly prison, you son of a... Okay, so now... <laughs> I just need to... Okay, so we're paying two for ghostly prison. I need to just attack in with one now that's I don't have oblivion ring or anything else in this deck um, so I, I see what you're saying there Greer world I, I I know there's a bit of a lag here taking into account the ghostly prisons um, I'm gonna have to do I think intangible virtue again Oh, crap. Because I can't... I, I need to pay two mana just to attack. So I'm going to have to go in with, like, just one ultra. Okay, 6-6. Six, six. Yes. I I would like like now definitely would be the time to to go a bit wider on the board here. Um, all right, we're just gonna go ahead and yield. Um, Oh, Brain Maggot reveals his hand. Uh, target non land. So he's probably going to get. Yeah, he's going to grab the sword. No, Zealous Persecution. Because that was the only thing I could have used to. Oh, another one. Okay. So now I might need more creatures. Change the creatures you control at Shroud. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to flash back. None of his land, I think, is doing anything special. I think we need all the land we can get at this point. So, yeah, I'm going to have to... Flashback Lingering Souls. We're going to have to pay two just to get in there. Uh, so those are more so just chump blockers to protect Elspeth. Um... I think again we need to give we we need to beef up one of our creatures just because of ghostly prison pay 2 So the Elspeth, I don't. I'm just running a one of, so I'm not going to ultimate it. I think we're getting a hell of a lot more use out of it just by ticking it up each turn. And it looks like they are gaining a fair amount of life there. 
Um, zealous Persecution, if I draw another one, that would be fantastic. Just to get rid of the Brain Maggots there. Um, Frontiers, Dragon, okay. So he's probably doing that again. Is he doing the cons? That should be legendary, I feel like. So he has just an immense amount of mana. And Ghostly Prison is just making this game go so long. We need to bring back Mana Burn. That's what's up. So, yeah, flashback the... Lingering Souls there. A Plains. So maybe we can do a little bit more. I'm not seeing that any of his lands are... I'm sure you target non-basic land. Yeah, he's got so much mana. I don't see that doing too much. Um, so let's go ahead and give this 3-3. Three, three. Can we get it with two? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually swing in with three creatures this turn. I think this is game. Bop, bop, bop. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, that was a good game. Yeah, I feel like I was like, granted he was top decking there, I feel like I was like one turn away from something crazy coming down. But, um, yeah, that was wild. For, I mean, if that was his whole game plan, I feel like he was missing a piece. Because he wasn't getting that much life, there wasn't some big enchantment, like, um, but, uh, yo, everybody on YouTube, thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.